Hey there, my name is Dimitri, and in this video, we're going to dive into how Bardeen has created an amazing automation tool that not only allows you to work on different automations and create workflows that save you time individually, but also do that in a team environment. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your team with Bardeen and how to do some of the following items inside of it. First, we're gonna show you how to create a team space and then how to invite different team members into that space. We're also going to show you how to share automations for specifically whether you're sharing in a team space versus your own space, editing and managing shared automations, and then managing members and billing. First of all, if you go to your Bardeen application and press create a team space, you'll first see a prompt that showcases what you get from Bardeen Business. And it allows you to invite different members to your team. So I'm gonna press upgrade and create space, and this will allow me to create a space right here. But then if I go to show team settings, I have the ability to either generate and copy an invite link, or I can invite someone from my team. So if I type in Dimitri at riseproductive.com and then press invite users, you'll see that I'll earn 500 monthly credits for each accepted invite. And then all my different team members will show up here. So if I press invite users, I'll then have this pending invite right here. And you'll see I've received an invite in my email about joining the Rise Productive team. And when I press accept, you'll see right here that I get prompted to download Bardeen if I am in a different account for this Dimitri at riseproductive.com item. And I'm just going to sign in with Google to make it easier. And you'll see that I have been invited to join that and I can simply press join team and you'll see, woohoo, <laughs> I am a part of this team space and I can press redeem 500 credits for my team. And now you'll see that we have the team members updated to have my original account as well as a user account, which can be changed from user to admin. And not only that, but I also can press delete on this item right here. You do not need to worry about this being a difficult process. It's very easy to change the user type and remove them if need be. The admin would be able to invite other users, whereas you can see in this account, I cannot and would have to create my own team space in order to invite other people. Now you'll see that three out of five free seats are within here. If I do get above that on the basic business plan, I would have to make an adjustment to how this works. As you get a flat fee for teams of five or fewer. Now let's showcase how I could share a playbook with my team members versus like personal playbooks. And so if I click on one of my playbooks and I go to this pointing arrow which signifies share, I always can press copy and close. And then if I paste it out, it's a shareable playbook to other people. That's very simple and easy to do. However, if I wanna share this with team members, it is a different process. You'll see right here on the three dots section of any playbook or autobook, as you can see, it's the same thing with autobooks. All I have to do is click on this or any of my different playbooks. And for this one, for example, press move to MCC Rise Productives team. Now you'll see if I press show, it is in not my space, but instead the MCC Rise Productive team space, which just to know, you can at any point beyond this, change the name, manage the team by clicking this and going back to the section or disband the team. I'm gonna rename this to just be Rise Productives Team. And then if we go to my other account, you'll see once I refresh the page here, that Rise Productives Team section will pop up once I first add a playbook. And I have the ability to connect these different applications. I'm working the exact same workflow as I would be able to with my other account that originally asked for this. So very simple, very easy. As you can see, it's in a moment allowing me to create a job openings CSV that then added all the data to a Google Sheet needed. Now, that was extremely quick and easy. It took absolutely no time for me to do that. So let's talk about editing these different playbooks. It is important to note that only the owner of a playbook can edit it. However, you can view and execute any playbook in the team space. Uh, if I hover over this as a user, you'll see if I press the three dots, it says only owners can make changes. I can duplicate this and that's fine. And I can go into the details of it and open it in the builder. But if I make any updates in this, like a new action, for example, and um, change it to anything else like scrape data on active tab is an option, whatever updates that I would make. If I press done here, it's going to ask me to copy a LinkedIn job. It's essentially going to make a copy of the new one. And from there, once I change the name, I press save and it would go into the team one. However, I can edit it if I'm the one who created it. You'll see that the owner of this is Dimitri. 
Panici, who is the user account. So admins and users alike can create whatever playbooks that they want and add it to the space themselves, but only the owner can make edits. Anyone else can make a copy of it and make a new playbook. So whoever created it and added it to the team workspace has the ability to edit it and change any inputs. And they also, if they want, for example, with this one right here, can move it back to MySpace. And you'll see right here, moves it back to this space. And I then can go back and forth and move it back to the Rise Productive space. So it's essentially a game of figuring out who is the owner by pressing those three dots, checking it out. And if you're not on that account, you're going to be able to duplicate it and edit it in your own playbooks or another one that's inside of the team workspace, but you cannot edit it if it's someone else's. However, you can use it if it's someone else's. Now, last but not least, let's talk about managing members and billing. We mentioned this previously. However, just to reiterate, you get 500 extra credits every time you add a new team member. And from the team standpoint, you get five members for a flat fee. And then from there, you have to pay more for more users. It's very important to note a couple different things about the users on your account that you're inviting. For example, Teams is accessible for everyone but you. So if you're asking the question, do I have to pay for Teams? Everyone on the Teams plan needs to be a paid user if they want to use shared premium playbooks, right? So you can have free members added to the team. However, if you have like premium stuff on the plan, whether it be different steps in the processes of those shared playbooks, you do need to have those team members on a paid plan in order for them to utilize those. You never are going to have any issues with someone accessing your personal workspace. It's just those shared ones that end up getting to be used by anyone on your team. You can have as many administrators as you want inside of your team, but if somebody leaves the space and is an administrator and there wasn't any other ones, they have to transfer their admin rights to another person if there's other people on the team. The system does prompt you to do this to make sure that that happens. If you have any more questions about the pricing, make sure to go to bardeen.ai slash pricing to check everything out there and schedule a demo with our team if you have more questions. Where can I find pricing info? You can find pricing details on bardeen.ai pricing under business plan. You can toggle to see the cost depending on the credits you would need. What's a credit? What can I do with credits? Credits are like tokens used for special premium features in our service. Regular features are free and unlimited. The number of credits you require depends on the number of automations you have running and their frequency. However, we'll send you friendly email notifications when you're getting close to your monthly limit at 70% and 90% usage. So you can keep track easily. You can tell which are premium with the premium tag in your playbooks. How is billing managed in Bardeen Teams? The team admin sets up and manages the team account. They can cancel or modify the team account and all premium automation done by team members is charged to the team account. Team members can join join the team plan as soon as they are part of the team. Credits are shared amongst the team members. If not fully utilized within a month, will the credits be rolled over to the following month? Credits reset every month, starting from 30 days from the start of their subscription. In case of an annual subscription, how will we get the credits in our account? Will all the credits be received in bulk? or on a monthly basis. For annual plans, the credits are provided all up front. What happens if our team runs out of credits? Any user can buy more credits for the whole team. You can buy more credits inside the app. You pay for the additional credits you purchase and get them all up front. You can also increase your monthly credit limit by buying a higher tier of monthly credits on the annual plan. See Bardeen.ai pricing under business plan. What happens to our data? if we cancel our team account. If the team account is canceled, the team space will be deactivated and all playbooks in the space will revert to their respective owners. Unused credits will be lost unless the account is downgraded to premium, in which case the credits are preserved. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure to start working inside of Bardeen with your teams today.